Put your hands together. Welcome from Champaign, Illinois. Gospel recording all this powerful pastor, preacher, puppeteer. He retired and still bringing it. He gonna say it for the most welcome Reverend Dr. Ronald L. Baker Sr. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. And Pastor Brown, I'm one of those that you were talking about been up all night, and tossing and turning. All night long. But since I was up, I said, Lord, I may as well talk with you. And no need of being up and not talking with the Lord. Amen. And I'm glad that when you talk with the Lord, he will hear and he will answer prayer. Amen. And when it's all over in the morning, you'll know that it's your season to be blessed. And we're happy to be a part of this 11th year celebration of our pastor, our friend, our brother, amen, reverend doctor, amen, praise God. WDB, a great preacher, a great pastor, a great singer, amen, a man that's just got the whole package, anointed by God. It's your season to be blessed. We were here on last year, and we preached it's your season to be blessed and was able to sing our song and I didn't know if I was going to sing it today but Pastor Brown requested it and so here we go it's your season to be blessed God made you a promise you stood your test well it open up the windows pour you out a blessing yes it will it's your season, my God, to be blessed. Help me out, choir. Oh, it's your season. It's your season to be blessed. God made you a promise. You stood in your test. Well, it opened up the window. Pour you out. Yes, it will. My God. Listen, I'm blessed in the city, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm blessed in the field, I'm blessed going out, I'm blessed coming in, well, open up the windows, pour you out a blessing, yes, it will, it's your season, my God, to be blessed, come on, choir, oh, it's your season to be blessed. God made you a promise. God made the promise. You stood your test. Well, it opened up to pour you out a blessing. Yes, it will. It's My God. To be I've been through the fire. I've been through the flood. I'm still standing here because of his blood. Well, open up the windows. Pour you out a blessing. Yes, he will. It's your season, my God, to be blessed. Hey, it's, it's your season. God made you a promise. You stood your test. Well, it open up. Pour you out. Yes, it will. Is your season? Is your season? It's your season. I said it's your season. It's your season. And it's my season too. Sister Baker and I, we're walking in our divine destiny. Our senior citizen destiny. It's not the same now that it was when we were young. 
But I thank God for senior citizen blessing. And we're walking. We've been through the fire. Been through the flood. We stood our time of testing. And when you stand for God, hold on. The God's unchanging hand. Keep walking by faith. And not by sight. For without faith, it is impossible to please our God. But I'm glad I'm walking and I'm talking, talking the faith talk, walking the faith walk. Is it your season? I just need three people. If you know it's your season, come up and shake the preacher's hand. Say it's my season. Oh, it's my season. Oh, it's my season. Oh, it's my season. Minister Sibley, it's your season. It's your season. It's your season. Oh, yeah. To be blessed. Glory to God. I'm glad. It's my season. Y'all got a dynamite young preacher. I just come to sing my song. I'll be back in a few weeks. To say a word from the Lord, but I just want to let you know it's your season. Oh, it's, oh, it's your, it's your season. It's your season. It's your season to be blessed. a program but when the Lord dropped the uh, Ronald L. Baker up in there taking us back down to Arkansas and Mississippi. It's your season. I want to tell you he got the to be blessed. You already know he gonna sing. And then they come back and they take glory glory and take another hymn and they contemporize that hymn back up to since I laid my burdens down. Back in the day we were singing that same song just a different tempo. Grandmama and them said the same thing. Friends don't treat me. Like they used to. And some of y'all in 2015 still got some friends. Come on, say amen. But maybe all your friends pay you back. But I got a few folk that had some friends who didn't got them. Anybody got some friends that owed them some stuff right? See, some of y'all can't even think about because you get mad all over again. Come on, come on right now. The Bible says release them, release them, release them so God can release something to you. Say amen, somebody. And all of has to go through three stages for it's all to run. It has to go through the shaking, the beating, and the pressing. And just like the olive, some of you may have felt like you've gone through the shaking, the beating, and the pressing. You went through all of that for your oil to flow. Now your greater is coming. If it had not been for the shaking, Watch out now. I never would have been ready for the making. No. If it had not been for the beating, yeah. I would have never anointed I would be, oh yeah, if it had not been for the pressing, all, I Kiki. wouldn't be able to walk into my destiny, yeah, yeah. he's preparing me, yeah. preparing me, yeah. preparing me. 
Come on, stand up and give him some love. Say amen. Master Keaton Higgins. Woo! That was powerful. Come on, come on, bless God. How many of you feel greater? How many of you feel greater? Touch somebody and say, I feel greater coming. Tell somebody, tell some high five somebody and say, I feel greater coming. Come on, tell them, I feel greater. I feel greater in your life. I feel greater. I feel greater. I feel greater. I feel greater. Come on, come on, come on. I feel greater coming. I feel greater put a praise on that today I said if you believe greater is coming I want you to put a praise on it and if God could ever get our belief system to match what he's doing in the atmosphere I said if you believe God's going to do greater you ought to put a praise on that see the Bible says that some things he would do suddenly. And so mama, I had to get a dictionary because I, I had to look up the word suddenly. And if you look and break down the word suddenly, it means at a moment. And if you look at the word at a moment, it means in a minute. And if you understand anything about minutes and hours, you understand that there's only 60 seconds in a minute. And so if God can do something suddenly, that means it only take him 60 seconds. So, see, and I don't care what you need God to do today before I give you this word. It takes about 60 seconds for you to grab hold to it once it's released in the atmosphere. And if you make a response, because the problem is most times when people tell us stuff or when people prophesy to us, we go home and we got to think about it. I wonder how it's going to happen. I wonder if it's going to come through for me. But if you are ever just get in the atmosphere of the Holy Ghost, the moment God speaks it, if you grab it, believe it, in 60 seconds it'll happen. And so everybody that need God to do something greater, I need you to put a praise on it like you know it's already done. Oh, you don't want it. You don't want it. You don't want it. Can I get just a little bit more on this? You don't want it. You don't you, you, you don't want it. You, you can be going through nothing. You don't want no power. You don't want the anointing. Anybody in here want God? You ought to open up your mouth and say greater is coming. 
Nikki, I bless God for your ministry because you just blessed my life. I preached the sermon, Pastor Baker, that entitled Get the Oil. And if you know anything about history of the olive oil, the olive only grew at certain altitudes. It couldn't grow down here with us because uh, you had to put some work in. And it took years for that, that olive to grow. And once that olive grew, they had to climb up the mountain. Once they got to the mountain, they couldn't just get up there, get the olive and... But once they got the olive, it had to go through a crushing. They had to break it. They had to spend time and labor to make sure that the oil would flow out of the olive. And some of us want the anointing of God, but we ain't willing to go through pressing. 